Hello Aquarius. I hope that everyone is doing amazing at this time. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, welcome in my loves. I'm Erica. I am a psychic medium and an oracular priestess. Um, those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Um, all right. So we're going to start with some, uh, Archangel messages. We're just going to see what the archangels want, which archangels want to come through for you guys at this time and uh, what energies they're bringing through. Okay. All right. I'm hearing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. All right. So, all right. Some of you guys even feel like life has been cloudy, rainy, a storm. All right, when is the sun returning? When is the sun coming out? For some of you guys, that's literal, like the weather where you live. Maybe it's been storming and you're like, oh, I need some sun. I resonate with that for sure. Thank God the sun's been coming out a little bit more since the spring equinox. But still, you know, April showers, bring May flowers, that whole thing, right? Um, although I feel like... I feel April is going to be a really nice month, but, um, I think, you know, we're still going to get some rain showers though. Anyways. Okay. Um, someone's name could be April. I'm also getting the name summer. All right. Summer can also be a very relevant month for you guys for some reason. Maybe it's your favorite season. I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. I'm also getting an aha moment. Okay. Don't mind the noise, that's just my cat. He's kind of in a playful mood. Okay, card number 34, and then, we, ooh, we have master number 22. Okay, so let's read this one first. Both of them have like red, fiery, like energy here. And I just said, I was talking about summer, which speaks of like, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere, summer is like, you're right, right? It's like our hot months, right? Fire, the fire element could be big. I feel like you guys could be working with the fire energy dragon fire or different like fire, uh, frequencies. Like, you know, you could be working with like, you know, red fire, white fire, um, violet fire or whatever. Okay. Archangel Nuriel. Okay. So let's start with 34. It could be an age, uh, Archangel Ambriel, patron of psychics and students. Wow. Okay. So some of you guys are, we're all students of the earth school, right? Students of life. But some of you guys could literally be students going back to school or you could be in school. Um, you could be getting like, you know, different kinds of degrees, certifications. It's just like also just like learning new things. And then psychics, like you guys are hella psychic. Like a lot of you guys are very strong seers, oracles, psychics. It's a part of your light work. It's some of your strongest gifts. Like we all are psychic beings because we're all souls having a human experience, but not everyone, as far as their light work goes, is meant to be a psychic professionally or a psychic in their journey in life, right? To help others with their, right? Your light work could be many different things, but definitely strong psychic energy. Clarity. Oh, I said the aha moment. Okay. So there's something here where you have an aha moment. Okay. Like you receive some kind of big clarity around, I don't know why the storm clouds were here. And now it's like, oh, the sun comes out, life gets better. And now I see why I went through all the things I went through, right? There's a humbling energy here. Like you're humbled by it. Okay. Like, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. Psychic protection. So you are being psychically protected by Archangel Ambriel, but also what I'm getting is call on Archangel Ambriel, Archangel Michael, whoever, when you need extra psychic protection. Some of you guys are very powerful seers, like I said, psychics, and you could be under psychic attack because of that, okay? Um, inspire curiosity, intellectual communication. Oh my, holy shit. Holy shit, you guys. This is, um, this is actually not my Oracle deck. This is my mom's and I'm borrowing it. So it's like my first times like working with it. Okay, I've never, I, oh my, I'm like tripping out right now, but this is how it goes. Every, if you guys have been with me, you guys already know how I roll. If you are new here, every single thing I say is like backed up with the cards, you know, literally. 
aha moment. Are you freaking kidding me, you guys? My mind is blown. Five minutes in, my mind is blown. <laughs> All right. An aha moment, like, like word for word. I clear mental fog and doubt. That's the clouds that I was talking about and the stormy weather. It could be psychic fog, intuitive fog. There could be people trying to siphon off of your gifts or your energy. Again, there could be some cord cutting or you need to really shield yourselves, my loves, because I'm telling you who I'm talking to, like you're very gifted. Like you're very, you're sensitive, you're highly empathic, you're very gifted, okay? And those of us who are like that, we are prone to attacks because we are such a light, a threat, right? Like we're just strong because we connect to our shadow and our light. We're balanced. You know what I mean? Okay, so just FYI, I clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight to your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. See, my, my cat's being crazy. All right. Like I've been gone. I've, I haven't been home. I've been taking care of my mom. She's had surgery. So I'm going to be going back and forth between my parents' house and my regular, you know, my house. And so he's excited because mommy's home. All right, hold on. Just, okay, so my cat's a masculine. His name is Sage. So you, it also could be like, you're the wise sage. Okay, but there also could be like a wise shaman, sage, masculine, you know, energy maybe coming towards you. Someone who just jumps into your life unexpectedly, like how he just jumped onto the desk unexpectedly. Okay. Um, all right. So soda light is a crystal that you could work with to connect with Archangel Ambriel or for any of these things on this card. May. Ooh, see the month of May is significant. And then it says stay positive. Okay. Then we have master number 22, Archangel Nuriel. Okay. Angel of hail, fire, and spell binding. Oof. I love these cards. Uh, subdue elements, protection, again, wards off evil. Holy shit. See, I'm telling you, some of you guys that are saw 723 on the timestamp, July 23rd could be a date for you. I'm telling you, some of you guys really need to shield yourselves. Call in these angels for support and protection. Your guides, like I said, Archangel, uh, Michael, whatever you need to do, but I, I know it, I can feel it. And that's why I said that. And I'm getting chills at my right leg. I mean, my left leg, which is my, our feminine side. So some, someone, like some of you guys, your divine feminine energy can be under an attack or someone could be trying to siphon your divine feminine energy. Okay. Shield your whole energy field, your physical body, all of your bodies. Okay. That only happens to people who are in like low vibrations, who are easy to like, you know, siphon from or manipulate or high vibrational people, like I just said, who are very connected in tune, highly gifted um, we pose a threat in a big way. So we, we fall under attacks a lot, right? But it's like, we, we're, we're also very protected because of, of who we are. So, you know, just shield yourself. That's all. It's just being, you know, responsible for our energy. So she helps to protect wars off evil, a liberating truth, power to bind and unbind. Okay. So, you know, you could always like, Work with Archangel Nuriel to bind up any energies that try to infiltrate you, try to harm you or attack you, anything like that, okay? You can bind them up and then transmute them back out into source love. I never do return to sender. I don't ever, ever, ever recommend doing that, okay? Because you're just, it's funny too, because I had never heard anyone else say that before. Like, I'm sure some people do, but just recently I've been seeing other readers um, you know, some of which who actually follow me and they're saying that now too. And I love it. And I'm not saying it's because of me. I'm just right. I mean, maybe, but I'm just saying like, that's really awesome that like that kind of stuff is like getting out. And I think more and more people are just picking up on it too. Like, Oh wait, that makes no fucking sense. We're sending, we're sending dark energy back to, right. It's just like recycling energy. It just makes zero sense. We are the power and the, the way in this lifetime, right? So we take that and we, we transmute everything and in back into source love, it back into love. Fire agate, several months from now, and the answer, no. 
So for some of you guys, you might be looking for a specific answer to something and maybe it's no, okay? All right, let's get a couple animal spirit guides here. With the fire energy here, I'm getting fire in my belly, fire in my belly. So it's like your sacral chakra is hella fired up. Your guys' solar plexus is fired up. Some of you guys have been um, doing like womb, your womb, okay? You've been doing womb um, healing, clearing, cord cutting, like things of that nature. There's something about your womb space, your womb chakra. Okay. Let's get a spirit animal for Aquarius. I feel too that you guys are being guided at this time to really work with your power, right? Like we could freaking, we're, we're magical beings, we're powerful beings. We could move objects with our mind. We could change the weather. We could, right, manipulate, not manipulate, but we can shift the weather, right? I feel like the weather is giving you a lot of messages too. You guys are just tuning in. When you start to tap in like that, you like don't even freaking need any kind of tool of divination. A tool of divination just becomes um, a medium to confirm what you are already knowing and, and receiving and picking up on. And I feel like you guys are there. Like you guys are already like super in tune. Um, everything, you know, you're just, you're communicating. You're, you're open, very open to that universal communication. Okay, because the universe is speaking to all of us 24-7. It's just the more your vibration raises, the more you pick up on the things, right? I'm also getting to tell you to ask for specific signs and numbers for confirmations and for answers that you guys want to know things about. I just saw 12-12. The elephant spirit, okay, obstacles are being removed. The elephant stampedes through anything, right? 222. Two, two. Card number 25. Learn from the past. All right. Again, the, the third eye is like bejeweled. Highly, highly empathic, sensitive energy here with the um with the elephant, the telepathy, psychic energy. They're very in tune in that way. All right. You're more than likely a very old soul who I'm talking to, but you've learned a lot from your past. Okay. And this is a time of even learning right now from the current moment, you know, tomorrow you could learn from today, right? There's lessons every single day. Again, being the student, the student of life. Okay. There could be something about Africa. Okay. You could be like, maybe that's your ancestry, your lineage, Maybe you always wanted to go to Africa, go on a safari, or just you're very drawn to the culture, the land, the animals, because we have the elephant and then the giraffe, um, and they're, you know, they both remind me of like, right, Africa. Okay. See the big picture and learn from your past. Yeah, 25 and 29. I feel like for some of you guys, your, your, your 20s, I'm speaking to probably, you know, you could be like 31, 30 years old in your 20s, right? But I'm probably speaking to people who are like maybe 30s, 40s and above in this regard where it's like your 20s was a very like crazy time for you. Maybe when you're at the age 22, 25, 29, around there, I'm hearing your early 20s, but like you went through a lot of heartbreak, depression, like maybe depression, betrayal, sadness in your early 20s. It was or just, I'm going to say in your 20s, it was a really crazy time and you've learned from the past. And now you're like in the giraffe spirit of seeing things with a, you know, from a different, from, from a bigger perspective and using your third eye to tune in. You also have the white raven, which is very, very rare and very majestic and powerful. Very um, connected to the spiritual realm. When the white raven shows up, it's confirming everything that I said about who I'm talking to, about you being a powerful um, energy, light, light worker, star seed, psychic, empath, whatever you want to say in this world, earth angel. Uh-huh. 
Trust in the magic. There's magic around you, Aquarius. Also, trust in your magic, right? Like your literal magic, moving objects, you know, staring at something and, and having it, it move or just working with your gifts, tuning in like that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm talking to a very highly connected group here with this reading, Aquarius. And zodiacs aside, like whoever finds this reading, this message is for you. You could be a cross watcher of an Aquarius. I don't know. All right. So let's see what else wants to come through for Aquarius at this time. Tell me about trust in the magic. Tell me about trust in the magic, please, with the right with the white raven. Okay, so all three of these spirit animals are going to be guides for you at this time, Aquarius. If you see one of these animals, know that it's a very powerful omen, a good omen. Four of Swords. You need some rest. You need some rest, my loves. You could be a mother, a single mother. See the photo or the picture? Okay, you could be healing from a heartbreak, from some type of painful, you know, Something that broke your heart. You've definitely been in a place of recovery, rest, rejuvenation, surrender. It's been very quiet, I think, right? Like I feel like I feel like your love life has been very quiet. <laughs> I'm getting crickets, like nothing's really been happening here, but spirit is saying trust in the magic. The white raven is saying trust in that magic. Page of wands, yeah. You could be a celebrity. Or something you do like puts you into a celebrity status where a lot of people know you, they know your name, like you're in the spotlight, things like that. But this is about new adventure entering your life. There's new adventure entering your life and there you are, bottom of the deck with justice, your sister air sign, Libra. And then the death card. Okay, you could be very drawn to vampires, like, you know, um, you know, movies, horror movies, things like that, right? But um, I'm also getting like Twilight. You could be very drawn to like the Twilight movies, things like that, right? Where they're, it's otherworldly, right? Um, but with the death card, what I'm getting here, going back to what protection and warding off evil, energy vampires, my loves, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, energy vampires. For some of you guys, this is about, this is about um, possibly like, entities or spirits on the other side um, who passed on, who could be attaching to your energy. Okay, so just, I don't, I'm not saying this to freak anyone out, but this is the kind of stuff that people don't want to talk about and we need to because it's out there. It's real. It happens. Okay, it's happened to me. I have to, especially with what I do and being on camera and on, you know, um, you know, a global platform with many, many energies tuning in, I have to take precaution and I have to protect myself. I know that I'm fucking protected, but I, with my power, because I know how powerful I am, I do it. So this, so no one, no energy vampires siphon from me because they will and they would. All right. People want to steal your gifts. They want, they want to siphon your intuition. They want to siphon your psychic ability. They want to siphon your chakras. They want to, okay, I'm just saying, use this sword and cut this shit out. You guys are shielding yourselves. You guys are the warriors. She always reminds me of She-Ra. If you guys are my age or, or older, you guys know She-Ra, the warrior princess with He-Man, She-Ra and He-Man. She always reminds me of She-Ra and I loved She-Ra. She-Ra and she rode her white Pegasus. She had a Pegasus. So the Pegasus could be relevant too. Justice, this is a time of justice. You guys have been like, you guys have been in this warrior energy, but you've also been learning to like be compassionate, loving and all these things, but you're quick to cut someone out. Like you're quick to cut people away, but you're also very shielded is what I want to say. All right. But here's the thing too, Aquarius is you don't have to be so defensive or be defensive. If like certain things, people come in or whatever, it's good to have your, you know, your sword there with you, but you know. I get that like for some, it could be like you've been through a lot, like I said, like, and you could be a little, not just, I guess, just have your defenses up, right? Okay, justice. There's justice here for you. This is a time of justice and radical change and transformation, rebirth with the death card. 
This vampire has risen from the casket. He's he's back to life. He's oh he's there. He is right. He's ready. Okay. So something with that. All right. There could be a lot of change and transformation around your career with the Eight of Pentacles. But I think for a lot of you guys, what this is is um. <laughs> I think you have a secret admirer. I think someone watches you work. Again, you could have a platform or be on. You know, it could be your social media. It could be like, you know, anything, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, LinkedIn, I don't know, Twitter, whatever you use. Someone is seeing you though. They see you. All right. And it feels like they admire you. This feels like a secret admirer. For some of you guys, this could be someone who, you know, is maybe they feel some kind of emotional loss when it comes to you. All right. It could be a soulmate with these two cups and maybe they, right, they, 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 they missed their chance or they lost you. Okay. That's for some of you guys, not all of you. Cause I think for a lot of you guys, this is a new person. Can you clarify this being a new person for, for Aquarius? Give me the energy around that. You're definitely king or queen of your castle. All right. I also feel with, with her, it's like you're a badass. Like people like admire you, but also people are intimidated by your energy because it's different. It's powerful. You know, we're going to see this powerful energy within people rising up more and more and more where it's not going to be so few and far between. We're already seeing it. Right. But as of right now, like, yeah, you're a rare gem. Okay, there could be something about rare gems or rare crystals. Four of Pentacles. Look at this. You're being a you're you're gonna you're receiving many rewards, divine awards. But for some, yeah, this is someone who hasn't like this is it's someone I know I was pulling on like a new energy, but as far as a new person, this is someone who sees you as a prize, a reward, an award. Like, they're not going to let you go. They're not going to let you go. Okay, but for some of you guys, this is a past person who is still holding on to you or they've never let you go. Tell me more about the new soulmate, please, for Aquarius. Eight of Wands, yeah. There could be travel involved here. Okay, you could travel for work a lot or you could be planning a trip or a vacation. But I feel like what this is, it's first of all, it's like passionate energy communication flying in. There's definitely something here about airplanes because I'm very drawn to the airplane. You could live in Hollywood, be from LA. I'm hearing Sunset, Sunset Boulevard, Long Beach, San Diego. Okay, someone's name could be Carmen because um, I am hearing that where on earth is Carmen San Diego? So again, those of you guys who are like around my age or older, you'll know that too. Okay. There's something here that's going to be, it's like a gift is in this luggage. A gift is in this luggage. There's a lot of passionate energy here with that, but it's also about like your manifestations coming in, being delivered to you from the ethers. I'm also getting a change in direction. Okay, so this is a new, per this is a new soulmate. Passionate energy flying in to your life. Okay, you've overcome many mountains here. All right, there's, you're like walking on smooth land. You've climbed the mountains, you've climbed the mountains and now it's like, now it's good. Now you get to like just walk across the flat grass instead of these mountains. I'm also getting something about Sedona, Sedona, Arizona. So you guys could be being called to there or to travel to there. Ace of Cups, there it is. There's your big old cup of love. A new beginning in love. My cup runneth over. Right? It's overflowing abundance. Some Someone could have a moon ring. See the moon? Or um, some kind of like moon jewelry, earrings or necklace. You could be wearing that right now as confirmation. You could have red nails or like pink nails like me. See her nails? As far as confirmation. All right. I'm also getting with the with the champagne, with the bubbly. This is celebration. Pop the champagne. Let's celebrate. It's like that, right? So, yeah, exactly. Holy shit. See, wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. All right? This is something that was, like, meant to happen for you. It's a turn in your destiny. 
It's a turning point in your life. It brings, it moves you forward. There's a lot of forward movement here, but it, it's like a lucky, fortunate timeline that you're on because of, you know, because of, you know, the fact that you've like been paying like karmic debts here. Okay. So now it's like your good karma flows, your dharma, literally flowing, whoop, flowing. Okay. After, you know, a lot of disappointment in love, a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of sadness and betrayal. It's like now your love arrives. Now it flows. This could talk about marriage, soul contracts, you know, with Mercury and retrograde, my loves right now, like just at this time, you may not want to be signing any documents, legal, anything, surgeries, don't have surgeries, don't travel, don't fly an airplane. It's like that. If you have to, that's different, right? If you have to, that's different, right? But it's just recommended not to. Okay. So will of fortune is turning in your favor. Look at that. You have 10, 10. You guys have closed out a really painful cycle here, a cycle where there was a lot of pain attached to it through the years. You're now, it's a, it's a turning point in destiny. I'm telling you, I'm never wrong about this stuff for you guys, whether it's collective or personal. All right, so this is what I have for you, my loves. I send love to all of you guys. I'm not extending this because I don't feel the need to. Um... I feel predominantly this is a new soulmate coming towards, oh my God, literally right as I'm saying the word soulmate, this was on the ground. It flew out on the ground just now. And right as I said the word soulmate, I look down to pick up the card and I see soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Exactly. Okay. And then it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate, boom, may differ from your usual type or expectation. So for some of you guys, you might be expecting a past person to return and maybe they do. Okay. But what I'm getting is like, you're going to have to have an open mind because the person coming in, I think for a lot of you guys, it's not who you expect. And they could be different than like usually who you'd go for a date, but their frequency is a match. Their vibe is a match. Their per right. Every, so it's just, and that's kind of what I meant with the queen of swords earlier was like, don't be defensive or like cut people away too quickly. Obviously you guys are super tapped in. So use your spidey senses to read the room but don't like discount someone immediately just for one thing or the next. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a soulmate coming in. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is a fortunate timeline you're on that brings forth a lot of flowing abundance, emotion, love, stuff of that nature. All right. But it's, it's moving forward because you guys have completed this. Like you had to go through some shit to get here. Excuse me, French. I don't know why I'm swearing so much in this, but <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know. It just sometimes it happens when I'm channeling. Okay. So this is what I've got for you, Aquarius. I send love to everybody. I thank you so, so, so much for being here with me. Um, if you guys want to get a personal reading with me, a, a personal psychic session, um, you feel guided, you connect with my energy and you want to work with my gifts, all of the, um, you know, uh, options and different spiritual services are below in the description box. Okay. So have a beautiful day. Happy freaking eclipse portal. Happy spring equinox. All the things we're moving into April. Happy April. I will see you guys very soon with your, with your next reading. Mwah. Namaste, my loves.